welcome back to Craze Cabin. Today we're going to review a few products, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the hell out of this channel. And we get up to a thousand subscribers, and we'll do a giveaway. So today we're going to review a LED torch and a camping kettle, and also the plastic cup that we had in a video that we showed fit into our bag. So let's start off with this little tiny LED torch, about as big as your hand. Nice grip on it. You see that? There. It's also got the handle. So you don't lose it if you drop it. It's also very, very bright. If you, you can see the mechanism there, it zooms. And the weird thing about this torch is when you zoom with this lens that you can actually remove. You can remove this lens. When you zoom in with the lens on, the shape of the beam changes, which I've not seen before. So let's, let's close this curtain and we'll show you. Right, there we go, that's a bit better. Right, see how bright the torch is now? A nice little circle beam. But if we zoom in, put it on the roof so you can see. turns into a square beam. Also the other thing, take this lens off, it gets so much brighter. You can still zoom in, but it doesn't give you the square. I like it with this lens on there. Like so. so it's a good little torch, nice and bright. A little push button so it's easy to operate. It also comes with the charger. But what you have to do is you have to unscrew this bottom, and take this big old ultra fire rechargeable battery, put it in the charger, let it charge up, and then all you have to do is put it back in and screw it up. Like so. It's lightweight, doesn't take up any space at all. And you literally you can keep it on you or just pop it in your bag. And for the price, what it is, it is an absolutely brilliant torch. This is about six quid. I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, have a look yourself. Like I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share so we can get up to a thousand subscribers. And then we do a giveaway of one of the gadgets that we've been reviewing. Right, let's go on to the next one, the ke kettle. Right, let's get this little rocket stove lit. Use cotton wool balls, soaked in Vaseline, because they make brilliant fire lighters, as we discovered in the previous video. Let me just poke them in there like that. That's it. You should use the Fire striker, but there we go. Make sure it's all lit up. Right, and this is the kettle. Little ball type stainless steel kettle. Little foldable handle, a little whistle end. Also, it's meant to stop it spilling out and overfilling. So, I'll put that on there like so. And until I get myself a new water carrier, I use my flask. There we go, I'll just fill that up. There we go. Put the lid back on. We'll see how long that takes to boil. Fire's burning in the homemade rocket stove. It's only been a couple of minutes, but yep, that's definitely getting hot. See how much longer it takes. Right, it's been about 15 20 minutes. I'm sure you can hear it's whistling away. So, 
definite thumbs up for that little kettle and another thumbs up for that rocket stove we built now to test my little cup Let's take that off of there there we go see if it can hold a hot drink or if it's just for cold drinks And chuck tea bag in the compost. So, cup, it's not warping, it's not leaking. So, it'll be a thumbs up for that cheap little cup off of Amazon. I put the kettle back on the stove just to see if the whistle gets any louder. It doesn't seem to. As you can see, it's not smoke from that, it is actually the steam from the kettle. So it's definitely a good little kettle. So, it was a, a thumbs up for the little five pound kettle, which heated up a lot quicker than I thought it would, and <laughs> a bloody good cup of tea, if I do say so myself. The little flashlight, was amazing absolutely amazing definite thumbs up on that one and little plastic cup that was a couple of quid I think I can't remember if it was Amazon or eBay but it was a couple of quid lightweight easy to carry holds hot drinks doesn't warp or leak so thumbs up for all three of those so they're going to the draw for the giveaway when we reach 1,000 subscribers. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel. And stay safe.